Hello and welcome to Success Story. Success Stories is a show where we talk to students of Excel Academy on how they pass CS exam. It could be executive or professional. And joining me today is somebody who has already been on Success Story coming for second time and that is Durga. Hello Durga. and welcome to success story hello sir thank you so first of all congratulations you have passed m1 m2 and finally you are in cs professional of the course thank you sir so we have seen you from the hard work which you have done i also saw that you came more than 500 kilometers to the chennai workshop which is excellent so how was the feeling at home with family when they got the news that you are now in a professional completed both modules they were all very happy sir very we were actually expecting the result sir i was expecting the same pass result very good that is the confidence which we really like to see so before we go ahead this is a small clip from the previous success stories where you had come finished one module how is the confidence level for the second module what is the kind of preparation you are doing Yes, sir. It is really high, sir. Confidence level is really high because uh, after one one attempt, I passed the second attempt. So, so this is really very motivating. The result gave me a very good motivation that I have already started preparing for the module two. Thank God, I prepared. I started my preparation and I'm doing good, sir. So now, how do you feel looking at that clip and now back to success story? How did that look? Sir, in the last uh, clip, uh, in the last session, you said uh, you wished me that uh, I wish you I see you in the next uh, success story, in the next attempt uh, passing executor. So your words came true, sir. So thank you, your blessings also, sir. Yeah. So definitely, it is with a lot of hard work which you have done. It is easy for us to tell, but we know the hard work which has gone through. Tell us a little bit about background. So where are you from? Your education, all of that. so i am from pani uh, i am full time cs student so that is why i could able to finish it very soon so i am only studying cs right now very good excellent so that shows the confidence level so for everybody else is worried if this doesn't happen if that doesn't happen nothing will happen look at someone like durga who has the confidence that this is the only thing i'm doing so you are putting all your efforts into that and when you put all your efforts you will get the results and this is a perfect example So Durga, tell us that decision. That many people might have told you, go to college, go there, go here. What made you to decide that let me do full time as a CS student? Yes, sir. so other degrees they are just degrees, but this is professional degree. So I thought a professional degree wants our full time. So we should pay our time and respect to the degree and study full time. And after finishing that, we can do other degrees. excellent excellent so for all the students what i see is they give last preference to cs okay first preference they give to everything else and because of last preference they don't give time when you don't give time you don't get results it is as simple as that so we are not telling that don't do other degree today there are other options you can do online bcom you can do distance bcom and all of them have equal value tomorrow you can even do llb with online bcom so for students who are watching it don't think that we are telling don't do degree please do it but give your time for company secretary course if you don't give you will not get result and you will uh, you don't have to blame icsi etc it is all about the time which you invest talking about time durga since you are a full time student how much time you used to study every day what was your daily schedule sir 8 uh, hours a uh, day sir So, so some people tell 16 hours 20 hours nothing if you study properly 8 hours is also excellent yes tell us that 8 hours how you divide so morning hours uh, i used to study the difficult subjects i watch uh, rec- recorded classes if i want to finish the subject earlier uh, the portions i watch that in the morning session then in the afternoon i will take some easier subject the practical uh, subjects then i solve some questions Uh, and then in the evening, I revise whatever I have done in the morning and afternoon. Okay, okay, very good. So in studying, 
uh, in Excel we gave so many study techniques. Did you use any of them, and how did that help you? So uh, Excel every day they used to post uh, post activities, so Pomodoro techniques, timetable, and all those things. Uh, I tried uh, making a timetable every day. Uh, Pomodoro technique uh, I I was not able to use it for every subject and every time, but for difficult subjects where I feel that my attention span would be less for some difficult tough subjects there i would use this pomodoro technique to keep uh, the session uh, alive and interesting small oh. small sessions would be helpful and what about writing because lot of students see, when we talk to them they they know the subject they understand but when they write it's something else so what did you uh, do while writing and what were the things you did so weekly tests uh, which excel academy conducts i used to attend those weekly tests uh, for mock tests i didn't write mock mock tests as such at the end because i didn't have much time uh, i was rushing at the time but weekly tests a uh, uh, small chunks uh, which we understand and in a, uh, in, in a week at the end of the week when we test ourselves about that it will be very useful remembering those concepts during the examination okay very nice So, in the subject, do you remember the marks which you got this time? Yes, sir, a bit. I yeah. remember. Please tell us. I was not sure, but I in total I scored uh, two, not three. And um, in EBCL, I scored the highest. I think fifty-seven or fifty-eight. I scored fifty-eight. Yeah. And so tell us about EBCL itself because it's a very vast syllabus and student tell. EBCL is so big how to study and you have got 58 marks what did you do how was your preparation for EBCL so EBCL uh, the biggest part was that part A a very important part that was uh, handled by abhishek sir he was teaching very very nicely all the concepts pema regulations actually they were uh, uh, when we read it by ourselves it would be very difficult for us to understand and i thought it would be difficult but sir when sir teached us uh, everything was uh, like a cake walk the fema regulations we understood very easily so then the other parts the syllabus is so vast so i focused on the segregation of marks and according to that i studied sir okay i think important to part a okay 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 very good so now in the um, uh, practical paper since it is mcq how did you prepare for that two papers so i was focusing on theory part because uh, mcq subjects they were asking most of the questions from theory parts and uh, pr- practicals also i solved the most repetitive parts where they are asking many questions from the same particular topic and then i solved the questions how they are asking the mcq format of the theory part and repeated practice only sir it gave uh, mm, okay so repeated practice so for students who are watching this is a very important thing uh, see many times we learn only when there is repetition and without that you cannot learn and people don't want to practice if people don't want to invest time if you invest time you get result and all the success stories whether it is durga or everybody else who are we are doing everybody has one constant thing they have invested time they stayed consistent and all these are basic things it is not uh, impossible so this is what will give you the end result for you to pass now durga next thing is many student tell we are not from chennai we are not from bangalore we are not from big city so cs is not for us so when you took what did people tell you and how did you react how was that whole process yes sir first of all many people were not aware of this course at all when i was taking this course but now i started preaching about this course to everyone from my school friends to even to <laughs> teachers they were asking uh, were calling me and asking about this course so that they can tell to their students so now they are aware about this course and about, about the materials and the resources all are available in the net itself so it is not about the city but uh, how we utilize the resources the online resources exactly especially today the best part is it doesn't matter where you stay especially if you have access to internet uh, even mobile you don't even have to have a laptop once you have mobile the whole world is accessible to you and that is how you can study 
it is not necessary you have to go to face to face class you can do online class for example like excel there are other options also you can explore so this is what the people who are not from big city should understand because once you qualify your knowledge is what is going to speak talking about that uh, durga you are somebody who is uh, i remember you told in uh, chennai when we met in the workshop that i had not met anybody who is a cs student that is why i came to workshop and to get some few friends at least right so now that you have few people who are uh, your friends how does it feel this completely different sir so now i finished executive program so i attended the edp hmm. so there i could get a lot of uh, cs friends friend. i could meet uh, more, more company secretaries so this is very the exposure is very different sir very good very good excellent so how is your confidence level for professional program right now sir very high sir i am on fire that i should finish in one attempt professional also. all the seven subjects all the seven subjects they say yes, it is yes. tough but we should make it so that it's my no no i'm sure you can because this what energy you have and the josh you have now that high should be there you cannot go down and if you study hard for the next months coming up i'm sure you can uh, coming to then tell us your experience at excel what did you like and what you would like to tell others who are looking for classes yes sir so excel academy the recorded classes live classes both are very very useful but we need to use it according to our needs so for certain subjects i used recorded classes to complete the syllabus fast and then mm. i also attend live classes to uh, just to keep it as a revision for me uh, because i finished the syllabus in advance okay. and then uh, quizzes are available the kahoot quiz which you provide like after finishing a chapter i used to go to the quiz and check myself whether i could answer the quiz or not then after that daily tasks that activities and uh, mentorship program which you conduct weekly so everything is really uh, supportive very good very good so i'm sure we will meet you again once you pass the professional program right yes sir definitely so like i told you after m1 now i'm telling you after m2 that is you passed executive so again i wish that you come on success stories when you have passed the cs professional program and become a company secretary so will you come definitely sir with your blessings definitely i'm sure with your hard work you can we are always there to support without hard work and without consistency nobody gets the result so with that we'll come to the end of the success story where uh, durga has passed m1 and m2 with excel academy now entering professional with lot of confidence and we are sure that if you continue the same hard work and same uh, consistency you will be able to pass even professional in your first attempt we wish you the very best thank you sir so this is uh, the story of durga who has worked very hard and ensured that she has cleared i will see you people in the next episode of success stories thank you very much